okay, we are on day four. I uh, changed things up a little bit. You might see I'm standing up today just to see if I can change the energy. Got a different shirt on. Lighting's a bit different because I'm actually recording this in the evening time. Um, but I wanted to show you that this entrepreneurship stuff is not tried and tested, formulaic, follow the plan, cookie cutter, one size fits all, right? That is not what we are going for and that's what today's topic is all about. The whole principle behind entrepreneurship is that you have to be able to test, observe and tweak. Not twerk, <laughs> that's something else entirely. Tweak, right? You gotta be able to change things. And so you will succeed as an entrepreneur if you go ahead and have that attitude of this is an experiment, let's see how it goes, let's give this one a try, and then just run with it, and then see what works, see what didn't, change it, and do it again. And that's usually the bit, <clears throat> excuse me, where people get stuck. Because what happens is, especially as a creative entrepreneur, you're putting a piece of your soul out there, right? A piece of yourself. You try the thing. It doesn't fly. You make it mean something. Make it mean more than what it actually means, right? You don't get what you the result that you wanted or uh, people don't buy it or people buy all of one thing and not one uh, the thing that you think is going to sell right and then we make it mean something we make a story up about it we think we create these um stories in our heads about the reasons why things happened and it's not true so i've talked a lot in my facebook page um up to this point about um mindset stuff and having that mindset of an entrepreneur and um I'll link to that in the this week's resources or today's resources because today's all about validating your idea and to validate your idea you have got to go in with an attitude of the scientist the experimenter not as in the soul led open creative okay and that can be challenging i absolutely understand that that can be challenging I have been there myself I know what that's like but we have got to push through because we don't know we are not mind readers we've had to push ourselves out a little bit yesterday or the day before by asking our customer or was it just yesterday asking our customer customer or a person what they would like from us and how we they would like to see it delivered but we haven't um you know we still haven't offered a piece of ourselves for sale and that can be challenging and can be hard because it's just hard you know it's not easy this stuff's not easy but you know what if it was easy everybody would do it everybody would have made that leap there is something that holds us back from not doing it and it's always nearly always fear rooted on underneath and and one of the things that you one of the ways you can cope with fear we talk about this in coaching but it's kind of meta it is coaching right it is having somebody that will hold you accountable for this stuff that will call you on these bs stories that are holding you back Somebody like a coach is the person who, you know, is going to hold that space. That's a real coaching term, but that's what it means. It's like, for me, I see the big vision. I'm there. It's always existing there. I'll hold that space for you. So, you know, we won't let you wallow in your like, oh, I can't do it. Or, oh, my stuff's not good. Or, oh, I need a new lens. All of the stuff, all of the stories, right? I don't let you do that. So, and any coach that's worth their salt will not let you do that. So today, uh, validating your idea, that's the very first thing. You have got to have it and approach it with a mindset of a scientist. These are experiments. We do not stop once. We try one thing. If it doesn't work, we figure out why it's not working. We tweak it and we try it again. And you've got to keep pulling yourself back up on that horse and off you go again. All right. So how are we going to validate our idea? Well, this is a short challenge, right? Tomorrow's our last day. And, and tomorrow really is just a recap and some little bit of bonus tips for you. But really, 
To validate your idea, you've got to make that leap and ask somebody to buy your stuff, right? Now, it might not necessarily be an exchange of money if you feel like you're not at that place yet. And like in this group right now, we still haven't talked about pricing or anything like that. That is beyond the scope of this challenge. I do deal with all of that in my group coaching and of course in my one-to-one but that's not covered here. So if you're feeling nervous about that, you can always offer an exchange of services. So if you're a photographer, you could do a model call and you could ask for a model for a certain type of pose or, or a certain type of shot that you want to try. You could just fly your prices or fl not even, sorry, your prices, your package around, um, in front of you know somebody who you think might want it like instead of just offering the usual uh, hourly service that you've thought of before maybe you could say would you be interested in a package of blah 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 kind of photographs or you know like minis and a mini session and um, all that kind of thing so I want you to kind of find that person and it can be somebody you know I mean it's going to probably be somebody you know right because we haven't even like touched on the marketing piece but you cannot do and jump to the market marketing piece unless you've got this foundation set. It's pointless because then you're doing an experiment with um, not like constant variables, right? You've got too many variables in like throwing a post up on Instagram or writing a post on Facebook. You don't even know if your people are there. So can I hope you're starting to see how this foundational work is crucial. And that's why, of course, you're in this challenge is to really set that foundation in stone, right? So once you've got these tools in going, you know, you can utilize them um, in every product, in every um, area of your business, okay? It's so, so important. After that, then that's where the marketing comes. But we're not going to talk too much about uh, that right now. I really want you to focus on validating that idea. So going at it from a point of view of a scientist, approach somebody, fly your idea past them. I mean, if you're feeling brave, you can put it on your Facebook page or you can put it in a post in a group that maybe you're on that, um, you know, of, of people who would be interested. But I want you to come back into our group and comment that you have done that. It could be send somebody a text. Like we have um, so many ways to communicate with people now. It's more than just walking in a store or it's more, you know, like think about it, guys. Like years ago, you had to like set up a brick and mortar store. You had to go get a lease. You had to go get, you know, pay rent. You had to like buy equipment and furniture and you had to like test your idea on the fly like are right there right now we can just like go hey like what do you think about this and get feedback like in an instant it's amazing right so and of course uh, as I do this with my coaching clients we go a lot deeper into this and uh, structure it a little bit more but the principle is the same you've got to validate that idea and the easiest way to do that is ask somebody who you think might be interested all right oh I will say this as well Ask them if they say no, right, remember the stories, don't make it a story, ask why. Keep asking those questions. So I want you to come into the group and post your questions. I will also go live. I've got a lot more to say about this because uh, this is foundational and all of entrepreneurship makes a big, big deal if you get this bit, right? I'm looking forward to chat to you. Hopefully you get on live. If not, hashtag replay. Let me know your questions. And I am here for you. Help, support in you doing all of this this week. You're doing awesome. We're almost there. So excited. All right, bye. <laughs>